Hey guys, I'm Kristen with IcyStarsQuilting.com. Today I'm going to show you in five minutes or less the ways that I keep my sewing machines in tip-top shape. This machine right here is my travel machine and I love this machine. So I use this one because it's smaller and I like to travel with it when I go over and I sew at a friend's house. FYI, this is a sewing machine cover that I made myself. I'm going to share a link down below to the blog post where I explained exactly how I made this. This is a paper piecing pattern on the front and let me show you the back real quick just because it's super fun. So I'm going to share a link down below along with some more photos so you can see exactly how this is made. But that's not what we're doing. I am going to look deep down inside and clean out this machine. I'm gonna be honest, it's been a while. You're gonna get the no filtered version of me doing some maintenance on this machine and making sure that it's nice and clean. These are my favorite for cleaning your sewing machine. These are your standard mascara ones. They're very inexpensive. I get mine off of Amazon. I bought a pack of like 500 of them and they're gonna last me for a long time. They clean better than your Q-tips, okay? Because Q-tips do grab it, but this grabs the dust and the dirt so much better. Other tool that I love is... <laughs> This is a fancier version of it because I use it for my long arm machine, but it's compressed air. Okay, this one happens to be rechargeable. It's kind of like a blow dryer, I guess. I don't know, but it happens to be rechargeable. I like to use that at the end when I'm making sure that things are blown out and making sure that things are definitely squeaky clean, okay? That's really all I use. Let's go into how I actually clean and maintain my machines. This is a Janome. 3160 QDC. I love this machine. Let's get it turned on. Let's do this. First thing we want to do is get in here and see how bad it is. Okay. Guys, before I show you, I'm admitting to you right now that I have not cleaned this thing in a while and it's pretty dirty. Uh, yeah, there you go. Gross. So I'm going to start by taking out, well, we'll take out the whole bobbin case. There are dust bunnies everywhere in here. So let me show you what this mascara wand does. And we're just going to go in there and we are going to play find the dust bunnies. That's disgusting. Yeah. And this step right here is mostly just elbow grease, okay? I'm not using the canned air or anything else right now except for the mascara wands. If you use um, Q-tips, the steps are exactly the same. You're just going in here and you're cleaning out those dust bunnies, making sure that you have all of the lint and the extra threads that have been deposited inside your, sew your sewing machine. I even recommend getting your flashlight or in this case, I've got my cell phone right here and I'm going to put my flashlight in there because those that extra light is really going to help you find where those threads are hiding. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you are gentle enough that you are not bending or pushing any equipment inside your sewing machine. You are just simply cleaning around all of the gears and parts. I want to point out one area that you may not have noticed. And that is this area right here. That is where your feed dogs are. Okay, zoom in really close to this right here and check this out. Do you see what I'm pushing out right here? Look at this. Look at that, I'm gonna put a spotlight on it. Isn't that gross? I mean, it's amazing, but you know, that's trapped inside your feed dogs and that actually is what grabs your fabric as it's going through and you're quilting on it, right? And you're sewing on it, it grabs your fabric. So you wanna make sure that those feed dogs are nice and cleaned out. And then I'm gonna come back to this piece right here and I'm gonna clean that out really good. Same for the inside of your machine. Let's go ahead and get that cleaned out. Once we've got the inside cleaned out, we're going to put everything back the way we found it. Everything is nice and clean on the inside. We feel much better, right? Now when I'm blowing out the machine with the compressed air, I know that's a point of contention among a lot of quilters because you last thing that you wanna do is push those fibers 
further into the workings of your machine, okay? That's why I clean most of the lint out with the mascara wands prior to doing the compressed air. And that's it. Make sure you change your needle so that you are good to go. So that wasn't that bad, right? I mean, obviously, yes, I should clean it more often. So if you would love more tips like this to make your life easier and keep yourself more organized, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. It helps support me. It helps support my channel. It helps encourage me to create more content just like this for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm Kristen with icstarsquilting.com. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, you wanna see the part that I love the most, the grossness that came out of my machine? Look at all of these little bitty speckles of dust. I tried to like kinda gather them all in one area so you could see. This is the grossness that came out of the machine.